Uh, now, deliberately misgendering someone, i.e. refusing to call someone by their preferred pronouns, as opposed to their biologically correct pronouns, could become a hate crime under the next Labour government, punishable by imprisonment. So Keir Starmer wants to toughen up the sentencing guidelines for abuse and violence targeted at trans people and bring them into line with those motivated by race or religious hatred. Joining me right now is commentator and activist Shivani Dave, who joins us in the studio with uh, Candice Holdsworth, who's still here as well. Uh, good afternoon. Lovely to see you today. Um, Look, this is just a, a policy, you know, that's being looked at. This is something that we know an awful lot of Labour activists would like to happen, uh, many on the front bench as well. The idea being that refusing to call someone by their preferred pronouns is an expression of transphobia, I guess is the reasoning, and therefore it is a hate crime. Um, do you think it is? I think this is hilarious. This is a joke, right? This is we're being punked, right? Because nobody has said this. Nobody from Labour's front bench have said this. This is not a Labour policy. This is something that was written up in the Daily Mail as something that had come from a Tory source. And we know that the Tories have been of late making up Labour policies. We heard of the meat tax. That was a policy that never was. The council's going to start limiting how often you can go to the shops. Another policy that never was. This is a joke. No, but to be fair, on those policies, those net zero policies, that was about you know, what the Climate Change Commission and others had suggested would be necessary to reach their targets. But those were never Labour policies, happen. were they? No, they were never Labour policies. No, it wasn't that they were Labour policies. But, and but, and but we, just like that, this isn't a Labour policy. But we know when we have a Labour leader and Labour front benchers who say that a trans woman is a woman, uh, defending the, the rights of uh, a man who has committed rape or sexual assault against a woman, to be able to say, I'm now living as a woman, I'm a trans woman, and therefore the right to go into a woman's prison, that is where, well, this is the, this is the logical extension of that, is it not? No, because it's, this, this isn't a policy. This isn't, this has come out of thin air. This is nonsense. Well, I mean, that, that's certainly, that's certainly not under what has, uh, has been, has been briefed in terms of what Labour policy would be, but I completely... But, but who was, who was the person doing that briefing and to whom these, were they briefing? Okay, that's, that's a fair point, but they have said they're going to strengthen the law to ensure perpetrators, they say, anti-LGBT plus hate can no longer dodge longer sentences. And right. Liz Dodds, the Shadow Women and Equalities uh, Secretary, said the Conservatives are failing to protect LGBT plus people. I've never known what the plus is, with their inability to get a handle on hate crime, including violent hate crime. Labour will strengthen the law to ensure the perpetrators of anti-LGBT plus hate can no longer dodge longer sentences. Our fully funded plan, blah, blah, blah. We'll recruit 30,000 more police officers. But we know that in the last year alone, two people have actually been convicted, although they're, they're in court on appeal, they have been, these cases Cases have actually been uh, uh, thrown out, uh, convicted of, of, of basically of misgendering, so-called misgendering of people. A Christian preacher uh, accused of harassing a transgender woman while, when just simply saying, referring to her, a, I'm referring sorry, referring to, to him, referring, okay, but referring. I'm reading the copy, referring to a transgender woman, i.e. a biological man, as a man and a gentleman. That case was ended up actually being on appeal thrown out. Um, for me, I completely understand you. And your preferred pronouns are they and them. Yeah. Um, you are a biological female, if you say so. I, I don't think it's me saying so. I think, I think it's a matter of fact. Is it not? Depends on depends on who you're asking, right? But there's a difference. But you understand there's a difference between sex and gender. I totally get that. So, so you were born. Yeah. And you didn't have dangly bits. So I'm going to guess you, are you were... On, are you on live TV asking what my genitals look like? Is no, that, I'm is not that saying, the conversation no, I'm, we're No, having? I'm saying that the biologically, you know, you were, you were on your birth certificate, you were... Julia, you, if you want to see what my genitals look like, buy me a drink first. <laughs> Come on. At the very least. Come on. No, I'm just saying that, that you know, th this is how we have for time immemorial being able to tell what is a boy or a girl baby when they're born. OK, that's... We looked down, I had a baby, what is it? They didn't go, we'll do a load of tests and ask the baby in 16 years' time. They went, looked down and said, it's a girl. OK, so that's how we've, that's how we've done it. Right, OK. Not to make light of it, you say that you you don't like her and she, you want to be they, them. Now, for me, I'd say, well, OK, use any words you choose to use, you're entitled to do that, it's a free country. However, for me, they and them are plurals, referring to if there were two or more people, I don't feel comfortable doing that. So is it OK if I'm otherwise showing you respect and warmth? Is it OK for you? Do you think it's OK for me to say, I don't 
I don't want to do that. I find it offensive to be asked to misuse language in that way, as I view it. I mean, we is could that... debate all day back and forth that about, the the debate, use though, of, of, about the use of gender-neutral pronouns as a singular or a plural of a pronoun. Like, you've got academic scholars, literate people involved in language and to much greater depths than me who will say that using they, them as a singular pr pronoun is, in fact, entirely an appropriate way to use that word. If you don't want to do it, fine. I've been on the show before and you've mm. referred to me as a woman, you've re referred to me as she or her before. And look, I've not, I've not kicked off about it. I've not got upset about it. You do you, I'm going to yeah. do me. But on your point about the LGBT hate crimes and the want from Labour to issue those punishments in the same way that they would for hate crimes of regarding race or religion, mm -hmm. would you not think that hate crimes of any variety mm -hmm. should be given the same I level of of treatment. I, I suppose for me, then, that's a about what we describe as a hate crime. So, for instance, someone saying, I, I consider it to be unacceptable to expect me to use incorrect grammar and to tell a lie, a biological lie. I consider that to be... Uh, fun. That's my, my, my view on that is as protected as your right to say, this is what I prefer. And a few years ago, I would have, as a matter of courtesy, used your preferred pronouns and other and have done in the past with other say, trans guests as well. Um, and yet now I feel very differently about it after cases where say, women have been told by judges, and this has actually happened in a British court, you must refer to your uh, alleged rapist as she or her and say, she inserted her penis. I so, just think that so, we have crossed a line so, there where it's so, a matter of courtesy, but it shouldn't be the law. So there is there is a case of somebody who self-describes as a TERF, a uh, trans uh, exclusionary radical feminist, mm -hmm. and... It's a term of abuse by... Well, but she, but she, she, she defines... Oh, well, that's because no, we've no, no, taken but, it as a... No, 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 a, she defines herself yeah. as that, so I'm just using the language yeah. that she has used. She harassed a trans person on Twitter, calling a trans person a pig in a wig. Mm. She was convicted for malicious communication after harassing this person yeah. for a huge yeah. amount of time. That was then overturned on appeal. Mm -hmm. Look, whether or not I think it's right if somebody... Uh, does deliberately misgender somebody or does not deliberately misgender somebody based on whatever their ideological point of view is, mm -hmm. whatever. But at the moment, we are seeing that trans hate crimes are rising. Just last week, I was here talking to you about the fact that they've increased by 11% in the last year. The reports of trans... Reports crimes. of trans hate crimes. The Home Office... I'm glad you could put me up on that because the Home Office actually said that, according to their research, 90% of trans hate crimes go unreported. Gallup, which is an LGBT abuse charity, has seen an increase of 65% of hate crimes being reported okay. to them, not the police in the last okay, year. OK, but again, it's how we describe those things. But again, I don't like... I, the case The case involved, the, the case you just mentioned, someone basically being abusive online, uh, that's very different, I think, from someone saying, with, you know, with all due respect, um, I don't accept that men can become women and women can become men. I don't believe that people are non-binary other than those who are the tiny, tiny percentage of people who are who are born with with uh, both sets of, you know, male Inter and female. Intersex chromosome. and non-binary are two different things. No, exactly. Two it, different things. I know, that's my point. And therefore, and, and that's a very different thing. And therefore, I, I, I don't want to, for want of a better phrase, play along with that. But that's not hate, is it? I mean, look, you can do what you want to do and... and no, but it's not hate. You well, said that. Is that hate or not? I'm... You know, the way that you've treated me, I wouldn't describe as hate, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know what you do with other people, whether they would describe that as hatred or not. But then, but, but then it's subjective. Of course it's subjective. But that's... Is that, Candace Holdsworth, bring you in. This is where the issue is. Yeah, so if, if Shivani says, that, OK, that's fine by me, I can see that you're, you're not full of hatred towards me. But if someone, I could say, have exactly the same conversation with someone else, and they could say, well, that's a hate crime. Yes, I think we do need a distinction, though, between someone being genuinely, genuinely hateful and abusive, mm -hmm. and like you say, harassing someone online, and someone just stating their genuinely held belief that biological reality is more important than gender expression. And we need to make those distinctions in public life. And I think the law is very poor at doing that because it is such a subjective thing. But and it is based on personal interactions. But that's, but that's what comes into... That's, that's why police get involved. That's why there's a whole uh, legal system that we have in place to, to deal with these things. What I can say is... You can generally tell, right, when someone is being mean to you or... You can also generally tell when someone is a man or a woman. 
Well, or whether there's one of them. I don't know about that. Online, I get told that I'm a boy. Online, I get told I'm a girl. Look, people don't always know this whole. We can always tell. I think that that's but eventually. Generally, I, I think that's then eventually going to end up harming cisgender women the most because they're going to have. Well, okay, women. Women are going to say cisgender. We're women. women there's women, only one kind. Women, we're women. Are, women are then going to start having their bodies policed in the same way that trans people have their bodies policed. But they they're already gonna, are. They, they are, and it's only going to get worse for them. You know, if you're a particularly tall biological woman, if you've got a biological woman with big hands, those kinds of things are then going to start being something that uh, people start to... But doesn't, to, doesn't this all come about by the problem has all started with, with men who want to live their lives as, as if they were women? Encroaching no. on biological women's safe spaces. No, 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 no. In, whether it's a refuge, no. whether it's a prison, whether it's a, whether it's a no, changing this room is, or a toilet. This is, this is about trans people being able to live freely. Well, and but who's stopping trans people living freely? Well, all of this, all of this rhetoric then. But your ability to, to live free doesn't require. Why does that require me? me to use your words instead of my words, my, my, my right to live freely. Time is against us. I said we'd get you in, we will get you in again very soon.